Hello everyone on Patreon, everyone watching on the X channel. This is just to provide a Patreon update because I haven't done one in about, what, two, three months. Obviously in June we had the nasty fall and then uh, recently I've just had COVID. So it's just been uh, one big thing after another. Uh, but we are, we've definitely recovered from COVID. We're, we're still recovering from the injuries of the, f the fall. I can do that with my arm now. It hurts still, but, you know, that is a major improvement to what I used to be able to do. There's still a massive egg bump on my knee, uh, which is kind of, you know, making things a bit more awkward. Um, but all in all, we're getting there. And it was time to provide some kind of content, um, especially on the Wonder Kids that you added onto the Ipswich Town save. Um most of you are probably wondering what on earth has gone on with with those players because I, I think we've only seen what dylan dylan and james st james in the save uh probably in the streams playing them through the series so i want to talk to you about the wonder kids and your adder players i also want to talk briefly about um what's going to happen in fifa 23 because it, it looks like it's going to be a challenge in FIFA 23, but very possible to add rewards, which is, you know, a bit of a comforting feeling, I guess. Um, but it is going to be it is going to be a challenge. It will be a challenge. So let's go through these guys first. So Nicholas King is an 82 overall right back. There you go. He's playing for Levante. A lot of these have actually changed teams, which is nice to see. Usually you don't see. Um, FIFA transfer the players as much, but I guess because they, they have been on the shortlist for the entirety of the career mode, they kind of get pushed a little bit more. Uh, Jack Mace is 71. Uh, he is playing for LA Galaxy, central defensive midfielder. At 71, you probably think that he is gonna is playing some decent game time for LA Galaxy. Jack Marseille, uh, he is a, a Piemonte Calcio or Juventus. 75 overall don't really know why juventus are keeping hold of him he's definitely stayed there for the entirety of the save dylan dylan has recently moved and uh, it was on the last episode of youth squad legends this move and it kind of triggered me to going oh i probably should make a patron update which is this video here uh so he's recently moved to the columbus crew in america at 77 overall, he probably is their best centre back. It's a good signing for the Columbus Crew. Uh, James St. James definitely was hanging around the lower leagues um, at the start of the series. Was a very competent goalkeeper when I uh, came across him. Now he's up to 85 overall and transferred to Arsenal. So we probably see even more of James St. James. The person who added James St. James must be delighted at the fact that he stayed around the English game. We're probably going to see him again. Hunter Cazada, uh, Real Valladolid at the moment. Central midfielder, 82 overall. I just look, I love the look of this player with the headband. Nice. Kakarang Cyprus is out in Fiorentina at 84 overall. Uh, some really nice stats there. All greens, love that. I mean, there's no red stats. Finishing 69. At most... This is, like, ridiculous. Look at the state of that. Absolutely ridiculous. Jojo Dante Smith is playing for CS Gaz Metan. I mean, whatever. <laughs> the American central midfielder is 79 overall. Bless you. He's struggling. Bless him. It's a Club de Foot Montreal. It's a 65 overall. But thank you. Uh, might be the first team striker for the New York Red Bulls. How about that? So 65, 75, bless you. Getting beat out by thank you. Bless you, thank you. Greg Todorov is an 83 overall central defensive midfielder. He's at Sassuolo. Really nice stats. Really nice overall. Uh, Well-rounded stats. And, uh, yep. Probably seeing major game time there at the Italian club. Jack Dotri. Dotri? I, I think from what I remember from the post, this guy that added him into the save, 
It, it told me how to say the name, but it's been such a long time ago. But I, I'll say Dotri, and I apologize if that's wrong. He, he's now at Real Betis, the 22-year-old uh, goalkeeper, the American shot stopper, 83 overall. we got Jack Stewart, who was playing. Do you remember? He was playing for Stoke City. Uh, was playing really well for Stoke City, and that's mainly the reason why they've gotten promotion from League One to the Championship. So we have played against Jack Stewart as well. He's moved to Celta Vigo, so he's he's got a, a kind of big money move. It's not massive, but kind of big money move. We got Malik Dalmini, the South African centre back at six foot one, playing for Orlando Pirates. That's kind of fitting. Seventy eight overall. Luis Sampiao, Sampaio, 82 overall centre-back playing for Leeds United. Might see a bit of him. And the, the fabulously named Steve. I remember Vet you adding this guy. Uh, 80 overall Southampton left winger. Very, very strange stats. Really strange stats, but there you are. And um, the final one, Victor Baklava. I think it's the final one. Look, if your player was added and is not on this short list of players, then I do apologise. I don't really know where they've gone. They shouldn't have been removed at any point. But this um, this lad, South African goalkeeper from Almira, I can go through the rest of the players <coughs> just in case we have missed anyone. But most of these guys are from the actual series, you know, coming out of our youth academy. Or shortlisted lads like Ferrier that we haven't signed up. But if you can see one of your players there, then great. You you know what's happened to them. And that's that's it. That's that's what's on my shortlist for the Ipswich Town uh, career mode. I want to talk to you about what's going to happen in FIFA 23 now. I think this is going to be kind of like an overall patron update, I guess. Um, FIFA 23, Aaron Act 2, the guy who's like, he makes the live editor and the cheat table, both of them systems, uh, put out a message about a month ago talking about uh, the EA anti-cheat device that's in the next-gen games, that then the next-gen games are coming to PC. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I've got something stuck in the back of me throat. Um, <coughs> looks like it's going to be very, very difficult to make the uh, cheat table uh, or the live editor work on the games that are coming through, unless there's some kind of back-end allowance on career mode, which I very much doubt it. It's EA. They don't like anything changing in the games. Um... So that's, that's a really big problem for us. Uh, it will slow down customization massively. However, it will not stop it completely because everybody is fairly certain, fairly confident that RDBM, which is the save editor, it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to have FIFA running in the background. It's just open the save and edit bits and bobs. We think that the save editor is going to be absolutely fine for the next game. And if it is, it means that we can scout special countries. It means that we can change appearances, I think. I'll need to learn all of that. It will require a lot of patience from you guys. But I think I can still do a certain m majority of editing. Definitely can change player names. Um, which means that there should be a good amount of customization for next year it just will take me a little bit of time hopefully that little bit of time also comes from the fact that the first season the first series of youth squad legends on fifa 23 should be a big one should be uh one that goes 60 to 100 episodes so long as everything goes all right with it i'm feeling positive that it will get pushed more than late in orient because let's be honest, the 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 traction that Leighton Orient got was all very very minimal, so we can't. I don't think we can have another one of them. Uh, we can't be that unlucky. Um, 
and and that's that i need to get through um you know the credit sequence we haven't updated the credit sequence for ages so i do apologize if you have uh, recently pledged to patreon and you don't can't see your name in the credits that will get done soon sooner rather than later um thank you messages i need to i need to get through i, I just keep on putting them off and and that's it so you got you got your update there obviously your, t your players hopefully we can see some of them players playing against ipswich town uh through the like back end of the series uh that's probably where they are gonna like pop up anyway just because like european competitions and that uh we'll try our best to figure out like what is possible in fifa 23 as soon as possible uh so we we have a great understanding of like the reward system and how it's going to work um i don't think there's going to be another youth squad legend series in fifa 23 so anybody that had like the the early video compensation will probably move on to fifa 24 20 hmm. there's not going to be another series in fifa 22 Let's, let me re rephrase that so early video compensation credits moves on to fifth 23 or whatever we do whatever we do i'm sure that we'll compensate the guys who have who were just waiting for early videos that didn't arrive um anything else no just thank you ever so much obviously for the patience that you've shown me um and i hope this video is um a little bit comforting because obviously i have gone radio silent you know why and there is a good reason for it and uh, hopefully, g moving forward, we can provide a lot more of these updates instead of being quiet. I'd rather do it, present it in this form, than, like typing out like paragraph after paragraph. All right. Oh, f hopefully you have a lovely day and I will see you soon. Bye bye.